is literally the, the hardest part of this whole recipe. <laughs> nice. Hey everyone, in this video, Chef Trezo will be making homemade vanilla bean ice cream all from scratch. I was behind the camera for this and I had the honor to film the whole process. The ingredients needed are heavy cream, whole milk, sugar, egg yolks, some salt, and most importantly, vanilla bean pods. It doesn't take that many ingredients to make, but it surely requires a lot of patience. Here's Chef Trezo to guide you through the process. Right there, I see all that vanilla seed inside that the pod, so that's where all that good flavor goes in. That's from one half of a vanilla pod. We're gonna put that all in the milk. There we go. So it's a, on a simple, um, a gentle simmer right now, like a medium low heat. I'm adding some salt. Oops. Now we're just waiting until um, we see some steam rise up from the milk mixture. So it might be a little while. Check the heat. You don't want to cook the milk, like, definitely don't want to boil it. That's why we only have it over a gentle simmer. But I am starting to see the steam come up top. So I think we're almost there. I'm just going to give it maybe another 30 seconds or so, and then we'll let that steep. All right, I think we're ready. We are ready. And we are gonna let that mixture steep for 15 minutes. Out of the splash zone. Ooh, we did it. It's hot today though, it's probably not the best day to do ice cream, so we'll see how long this ice lasts. Actually need to add more ice, I think. It's already melting. Here we're whisking with the world's smallest whisk. Here's my hand for comparison. So I'm pouring two tablespoons of sugar into eight egg yolks. And we're gonna give this a mix. This might take a while. It's a small whisk. So. Actually, it didn't take that long. <laughs> All right, world's smallest whisk did its job. And we're gonna strain up this milk mixture. And there we go. Let us get to temping this yolk mixture. My dairy bowl is so large, I'm gonna use a little measuring cup. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit of this hot mixture. And then start temping this yolk mixture here. We're just adding a little bit at a time just so we're not cooking the eggs. Now if you start seeing your egg curdle, that's not a good sign. That means you probably need to start over again because your milk mixture is too hot. It takes a lot of patience, huh? It does. You, you, yeah, you can't be too uh, aggressive with this stuff or you're gonna cook your eggs. So now I'm adding the rest of the yolk mixture in here. I want to try and get all that vanilla bean goodness in there. All right, so this is our custard step. You know your custard will be ready when, I guess the thickness of it can coat the back of this spoon or this silicone spatula. Might take a little longer to heat up this bowl because it is a ginormous one. <laughs> yeah, definitely still too liquidy right now. It's kind of falling off the, the spoon still. A cheat hack way of doing it is just to get it to temp, which is around 185. We're almost there. It's about 173, 174. If it stays separated like this, that means you're essentially done. There we 
go. So um, next we're gonna just stir this over that ice bath. So we wanna try and cool this off so it's not sitting at room temp and and staying warm for a long time because we don't wanna put it into the, the fridge hot. What's your favorite way of uh, eating vanilla ice cream? Either with root beer or chili oil. Ooh, <laughs> yes. I've definitely had it with chili oil before. Now that our uh, mixture has finally cooled, I'm gonna pour this into a quart container. And you wanna cool this mixture for at least a four hours or ideally overnight before you put it in your ice cream maker. your vanilla ice cream base. We have aged our custard. Using a completely cool and aged custard allows it to have a creamier texture at the end. So we'll go ahead and pour that into the bowl here of this ice cream maker. Oh yeah, and it's definitely thickened up since um, we worked with it yesterday. It almost has like a pudding-like texture. So I'm gonna ahead and put back this lid, and then I'm gonna go ahead and turn on that cooling function and the churn. And we'll let it do its thing. All right, so we've been churning for about 20 minutes, and it's looking really nice. In terms of texture, you're looking more for that soft serve consistency, so it's exactly kind of what we're looking for. Now this texture looks amazing, it looks super creamy. I'm excited to try it. Our vanilla ice cream. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick this back into the freezer so it can fully harden. That's it. Thank you so much for watching and remember, here at our virtual table, we make this a place to inspire and learn. If this video inspired you to make this, or if there's a certain way that you make this dish, let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and hit that bell to stay tuned for next week's video, where I show my take on ube pizza. See y'all in the next one.